Hi, and welcome to this section of the Calculus 3 Tutor, where we're going to turn to the concept of integrals over oriented surfaces, also known as flux integrals. You'll probably see it written as flux integrals in a lot of your textbooks. So in the last section, we did integrals over uh, surface, surface integral, so to speak, where you're integrating a function over an actual surface there that's sort of sitting in three-dimensional space. This section is going to be very similar to that, except that in this case, we're going to have a vector field that we're going to be integrating uh, through a surface. So we're, in it, we're going to be integrating the flux of that uh, vector field through a surface. Okay, So that takes a little bit of uh, you know, wrapping your brain around to really understand what we're doing. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time at the beginning giving you some real examples of when you would do this to give you a little bit of motivation. Okay, So let's say, for instance, uh, you have uh, you know, some fluid flow. Okay, and the fluid's basically representative by a vector field because every little point in the fluid has a little arrow for its velocity and its direction. Okay, and so this thing may go travel through a surface, uh, some surface with some odd boundary, and you'd like to know how much fluid actually passes through the boundary in a certain time. That's basically going to be a flux interval because the, uh, uh, the fluid flowing through the boundary or crossing the boundary, the fluid is kind of like a vector field flowing through there, and the boundary is, is obviously the boundary, so you're actually integrating sort of, sort of that fl uh, fluid going through that surface. Okay? Uh, another example would be you know, how much of an electric field cuts through an area in a certain uh, amount of time. Another example would be uh, looking at the integral of an electric field, which is a vector field, cutting through a certain uh, boundary, which could be an odd-shaped boundary, and you, you might be interested in looking at how the electric field and how much of it actually cuts through that boundary uh, in a certain time period when you're looking at it there. Okay, So basically the flux integral is going to be written down uh, like this, and I think if we just get started talking about it, it'll, it'll make some sense. It's going to be an integral over some surface, just like we had last time, denoted by sigma, except this time it's going to be a vector field dotted with something I'll tell you about in a minute, which is this uh, unit vector here I'll talk to you about, and it's over ds. This is just telling you it's a surface uh, integral. So let me, or it's an integral over an oriented surface n, okay? So this thing is just telling me I'm integrating um, over the surface the surface uh, given to me by sigma. Okay, that's all that's telling me. Uh, this thing is the vector field that I am integrating. Okay, and this thing is a unit vector normal to the surface. And what surface am I talking about? It's a unit vector normal to the surface here. Okay, uh, a picture a picture is worth a thousand words, so I really need to just draw you a picture here, and I think you'll you'll probably understand what's going on. So in three dimensional space, here's your x, your y, and your z. Okay, let's say I have a uh, surface that I'm going to actually integrate a vector field over, and this surface, let's say, is sort of a uh, a disk. Okay. And uh, what I have here is I have some fluid that's flowing through or some electric field that's cutting or something like this. And, the, and that would look like maybe something like this. You know, you'd have something like this. Could be a fluid flow that's going through here. So it has a magnitude and a direction. It could be a magnetic field going through here. It could be any sort of vector field that cuts through uh, this guy right here. Well, in order to actually integrate it, I need to know 